Heyo, my Planet Coaster friends, Johnny5 Alive here, and welcome back to another Candyland Challenge series. This is where you guys get to build what we need for the park. And I am joined here with uh, the Missy Goods, Chant. Heyo. No floss today, unfortunately. The Hot Dog mm. Squad, Web Searcher and Wix. Hey. Hi. hey. And uh, yeah, we're going to go through all this stuff, so stay tuned and let's check it out. All right, guys, a quick look at the Gummy Island here. We got the font, we got the image. This is what the island looks like, if you guys don't remember. Um, we're going to be doing a go-kart track on this island, and this is kind of how it's going to run. It's going to go underground here. Um, we got lots to break down, but before we do, we have a mascot to look at. <laughs> gum, gum. All right, thank you, Chant, for putting this together. This is awesome. Yeah. So uh, we have a mascot. Chant provided this example. And we kind of wanted to go for a tropical gummy dino. He's gulpy, but he's converted into a gummy. And he's also a Hawaiian Islander, right? Yep. So we have some drawings. A couple cute ones from Aiden Spy. <laughs> like this guy. <clears throat> I really liked his first uh, sketches, which is why I included them on the sides. They're cute. And it kind of looks like, like a temple carving and they're worshipping the one in the middle. <laughs> but... Yeah. I don't like faces. Mm -hmm. a lot. I love yeah, this face. Yeah, like the skirts that he put on. Like it's like little like shimmy shimmy. <laughs> 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 a little gummy bear in there. And we have another one from Liam Lizard. This one's an alcoholic. <laughs> he's got a yeah. he's got a snake butt. Yeah, that's kind of weird. <laughs> that's kind of weird. <laughs> gummy bear. <laughs> he's got worms, I tell you, worms. Yeah. He Maybe does. it's his sidekick, a candy worm. <laughs> But he can't be all bad. He does like to drink. So, so. He, yeah. <laughs> He's good in webs, folks. <laughs> and we got Godzilla. He's got da, a da, da. That's a very low... It's super, super gummy. It a low skirt. But I did like skirt? that he used, like, the initials on the wristband. I like that. Kind oh, of I think it's Making cute. it personal. Personalized. We weird. Um... Hold on. This is really strange. OBS is rendering this guy black. That He's is green to me. Oh, you got your green screen on? The uh, green screen option. That That'll do it. Is that a thing? Is that what? Yeah. But I don't think I have a green screen option on. Well, then why is it rendering it black? I have no idea. Sad day. This guy's black. <laughs> yeah, then it sounds like your green screen is on. Yeah. If he's black as well. Maybe I'll try to bring up the image in post. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. But if you can imagine, he's not black and he's green. <laughs> <laughs> he's not all Very black. Green. <clears throat> I, can, I can actually sneak him on screen here for you guys. Oh. Yeah. So if he was a green screen, he'd be, yeah, like, I don't know. Anyways. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Looks whoa. Creepy. whoa. Uh, <laughs> okay, next we have a bunch of them from Afro Sheep. I like the uh, the cape. That's pretty cool, and the crown looks cool. It's a very mm -hmm. royal cape mm -hmm. with a melon on top. Yeah, the, the melon, melon head. He's a melon head. Yeah, I, I like the. <laughs> wonder, um, yeah, I wonder how hard that'd be to make. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cape would be kind of difficult. You'd probably have to use like the curtains or something, you know, the, the drapes, and just put them around him. Mm -hmm. That is definitely something to consider. Um, you do have to think game. about it. Mm -hmm. My favorite one out of this bunch is the blue one. Yeah, it's a great color. Yeah, and I appreciate the um, color options here. Yep. Yeah, me mm -hmm. too. So thank you, Afro Sheep. Definitely. But yeah, I actually I like the looks of that. Oh, look you here. <laughs> it's a rampaging wick source. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Possibly my favorite out of the bunch. Yes. Yeah. yeah right. I didn't Hawaii. work very hard on it. Just, just <laughs> it's definitely the prettiest one. Oh, it's yeah. gorgeous. <laughs> Arr, it's rave oh. time. Arr. This one, this one does have a backstory because if you guys have been paying attention to the Blueprint series and, and just spotlights in general, people have this weird thing for Wix to make him the evil guy always. <laughs> <laughs> Can't figure it out. And and then so the other day he goes, oh yeah, I'm the evil Wix Zorus. I'm like, sounds like a dinosaur. And then immediately I had to go to Photoshop and slap his head on a golfie. <laughs> <laughs> and now, 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 Wick Zorus is making appearances in all sorts of videos. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. That's that's the uh, birth of Wick Zorus. <coughs> that's definitely our mascot. So get building, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to see how it looks, though. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right, 89 James 89. We got some more gulpies. <clears throat> I like the backpack of a gummy bear. Gummy bear backpack's cute, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, all the gummies on his head. He's got a snake, or too. makes a crown. Snake, yeah. snake belt. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, I added those sunglasses on the last one. I can James, tell. I hope you don't mind. <laughs> uh, he was telling me that he intended to draw sunglasses, but then it looked like an eye patch, so I thought that I'd uh, throw some on him. You got you got crayon drawing everything and then boom Photoshop glasses. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's a great contrast. It's cool. Yeah. These are some of my favorites. I think I like, I like the first and the last one here. Most. I, I like this guy's big underbite. <laughs> it's like a little uh, like clumsy. It feels like he's yeah. clumsy, right? <laughs> I like the first and second one the most. Say that again, Wix. Uh. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> 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 Boom! <laughs> Dun, da -da. Da -da -da. <laughs> Look at that eye! Oh my oh, goodness! Chad did I an amazing you. job with these. They are yeah. so colorful. Little oh, I bears crawling wasn't all over it. planning on drawing anything for this competition. Or What's this? my name there? I did Wixorus. That was my submission. <laughs> but uh, Johnny and I were talking about the statue he'd made in game for Gulpy. Yeah. And then he put gummy bears that he found like all over it. And we thought, wow, what a cool idea. So together we came up with this and I drew it. Yeah, I did a it big, very fat, pudgy <laughs> Gulpy in game a long time ago for my... Uh, <laughs> my gulpy boomerang coaster so uh, it, it, we already have like a, a uniquely shaped gulpy that's not quite the original he's super fat and super derp uh so <laughs> if if, derp, derp. if we increase his eyes this guy's eye looks like he got a gummy bear crawled up his butt <laughs> he's, he's a little he's a little surprised <laughs> uh, <laughs> Um, so if we, we increase his eye, we change the colors, we recolor him, we cover him with gummy bears, build a little pineapple and a flower. I think it could work. Um, Got a grass skirt. Don't forget a skirt. Now, what do you guys like the most in color here? I like the blue one. Me too. Wix? I'm also on the blue one. And well, Chant, it's unanimous, right? No, I like the green and pink one. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. See, I actually think the green one's going to blend in with the trees a little a little much. I want something that kind of stands out for this character. Probably yeah. the pink Getting me. We had, we had, I we just, had, I, I, yeah, go ahead. I just get like this, uh, like surfer uh, dude vibe from the blue guy, which I kind of like. Kind of looks like he's, a shark. He, he's kind of yeah. cool. He yeah. does kind of have a little shark look to him. But uh, like I said, the green one's gonna blend in to the trees, I think, too much. And the surrounding. Yeah. I kind of want him to stand out. Mm -hmm. So I, I'd pick one of the two on the on the right side, you know. And the blue one's my favorite. I think the yellow one's my second favorite. But uh, you have to think about the surrounding scenery. Definitely. So we can mm -hmm. we can all we can all agree that that's the best gulpy out of them all. I I like that one the most. It really has a tropical feel. It does. Yeah. And if you already have him partially built, yep, that's a step in the right direction. Yeah, mm -hmm. there is that. Definitely. Boom. So the winner is Wixorus. <laughs> 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 Yay! Oh, yeah, please make this. I would like to see how it looks. <laughs> I make you <laughs> Just remember, there are people in, in the community that could probably make your head look pretty realistic to that. Be, be careful. Gigantic. Be be careful. It's going to be terrifying to see. Um, so, yeah, there it is. Um, that's going to be our mascot. We don't really need anyone to make him, but we, we do need to recolor mine. And me and Chant might tackle that one but we will need yeah. the little gummy bears <clears throat> i think i saw a, a fence that i could rip one off of that uh, from fairground farms I, uh, we're gonna have lots of gummy bears and stuff so we'll, I just we'll have figure one it out request. what's up do not forget to put the little gummy bear at the top of the pineapple yeah, yeah. love that little guy mm -hmm. <laughs> definitely um so we do have um other characters coming up the ice queen the lady licorice the hazelnut huntress uh captain jawbreaker ouch king candy and that's all of them right Yeah. yep so we will be n announcing uh what what they look like or what they should look like in discord and you guys can build any of them or all of them i think we're gonna it's better to do it in advance yeah so. we're gonna release them all at once so you can get started but there will be certain deadlines for them different deadlines so. yeah like we're the next area that we're moving on to is definitely going to be ice queen mountain I mm. queen. So. Ice queen. <laughs> <laughs> and we're going to need our ice queen 
which is Kazakh Cow. So that that'll be like the high priority one for sure. Um, yeah. So yeah. All right. Let's. That was fun. Let's move on to our our challenge. Here we go. Gummy Island is the third section of Candyland watched over by Gummy Gulpy. Gummy Gulpy is more than just a gummy dinosaur. He oversees the trees, rocks, why, bugs, ew, and all the islanders, <laughs> many of whom are gummy candies just like him. The island itself boasts of delicious candy fruits, colorful islanders, and an endless supply of all things yum yum yummy. So when you're building for Gulpy Island, think tropical, fruity, sweet, Gummy and tiki tiki tiki. Wix should have said that. Wix. <laughs> <laughs> tiki tiki. No, I said wrong. Yeah, that was good. That was good. <laughs> Thank, thanks to Chant and Johnny for creating the official look. Uh, hey, I'm not thanking myself. This is a thankless job. We'll just thank Chant and Johnny. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so here's some examples of our overall vision for Gummy Island. I just I just literally Googled uh, tropical cartoon or something. Cartoon tropical cartoons. Um, so th that's how you can get some reference ideas by doing the same. So we you know we want it to be very vibrant and fun, and a little dock thing would be cool. Some tiki stuff. That's just an example. Ours is going to be more candified, and you know, it's the shape. So it's different, but it's just an idea. Um, these little images here are kind of simplistic examples. If you guys remember Fairground Farms, that sign that Taco King made with the rolling hills and the barn, and it said, welcome to. I think we would, could really benefit for something here and doing something simplistic like this on a billboard, uh, basic shape art, like a little island with some palm trees and a, a cave or a volcano in our case. because. Yeah, I mean, you know, you could have natives throwing candy into the volcano that make just a great sign. I don't know. <laughs> well, and I think this one's good too, the dinosaur, because we have we have Gulpy. Um, so I, any of these kind of designs, you don't, you can copy them. You can, you know, uh, you can make your own. You can Google your own. That's something simplistic like that that says "Welcome to Gummy Island." I think that'd be great. Uh, we have all sorts of different characters and fruits. Like, I, we want fruit people. We want fruit characters. And I would like a hula girl. That'd be awesome. So... <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah pineapple We all people. want the hula girl, Johnny. <laughs> 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 we want all the fruit people. I love these fish. This one's got something up oh, his butt, too. too. Just like Golfy. <laughs> um, yeah, they're all, like, they're hilarious. I think these could be fun little things to make out of basic shapes. Uh, I mean, I don't, you know, we'll probably be limited on the area that we can use fish, but it no, would just be a nice few swimming some. around, like, yeah. and they could be fairly big. They don't have to be small. Like, I want to see them. Yeah. So their their yeah. heads would be sticking out of the water and stuff I mean, as you're this, coming in on the boat. Yeah, this is the zone where we're gonna have the boat ride. You know, the center of the the park. So no, it's 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 uh it's in the corner. This, oh, is it? Okay. The boat ride this goes to everything. Of, oh, I got you. Yeah. Um. So uh, fruit families. Look at that. Oh, we're yeah. <laughs> 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 so also think of your fruit candies too. Yep, fruit candies. Um, that melon. <laughs> I know. I like this guy. They just, what is he? Is that a squash or something? What is that? I think a uh, honey melon. Honey, honey do? Honey do? Mm, it's, it's a strange honey do. I, I think more <laughs> of he's kind of a, a a squash of some sort. Yeah, he's definitely not a coconut. That'd be an odd colored one. Anyways. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> So our hero pieces, um, as as always, we have our little candy contractors. Now, if you're not a candy contractor, you're not an advanced builder. I think we're going to change that to advanced builder plus, right, Chant? I think so, yeah. Um, yeah, and, and if you if you just so happen to take a stab at it and throw it in the blueprint section, that's fine. We've seen people do that in the last few episodes, and we're like, oh, we're going to still use this. So any of this stuff, really, anyone can tackle, but we really do need someone to be contracted, so we're guaranteed to have this stuff. So if any of this following stuff interests you, let us know, uh, because we definitely need this stuff. So the tropical welcoming sign, which I talked about earlier, which would have some sort of basic shape design or art on it. It says, welcome to Gummy Island. Um, we need an Islander boat boarding station. Shout out to, who was it, Libby's, who did the one here. The uh, Fairground Farms boathouse was really cool. I'm looking for something different this time that's more thatch tiki, but also boathouse. It could be very open, but you could have you know, some supplies on there, some gummies and some candies on there. Uh, Libby's, if you're watching this, I think you might want to tackle it. <laughs> he did an amazing <laughs> job last time. Um, <clears throat> but anyone can tackle this. Um, this isn't the actual location, but it's the actual size of our boat station. They're all the same. So I just brought this example up. Uh, if you build it to this size and go into game and measure that out, um, it'll fit. 
with the, the exit and the entrance can be pretty much anywhere back here. There's not really much a place to put it, but you could put it the entrance here, the exit here, whatever. Uh, Go-karts, we're figuring about 20 long, 20 carts on this thing. Uh, I could use a station for this, very tropical. I don't know how you would do that. It would be very open, um, but like, you know, you have to do these custom lights, you know, for the start, go, stop. I was also thinking stands. So I'm building some stands and then later on we'll fill those stands with gummy bears and stuff. So um, it most likely stands to the one side. Hopefully we can flip it because actually this go-kart's facing the wrong way. <laughs> Whoops. Um, yeah, they should be <laughs> facing this direction, the opposite direction. Because I'm going to have them racing around the track if we look at this. So they're running the, a the, This is where they're placed. This is where they're placed and then they're going around this way. Yeah, yeah. counterclockwise. And in that image, it's completely backwards. Whoops. Um, so yeah, if you come up with something for that, it's fairly big, it's strange. It might be a little bit easier to do once we have more blueprints completed, but we're looking to get that done. We would really like it if someone could make this gummy font for us. I'll provide a bigger image. It's a tricky one. It's a really tricky one, but without that gradient, I think it's fine. There could be a second shade, but just the green and pink could work, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And moving on to our blueprints, uh, what is this? However, there are sour patches and pl that plague the island, turning the nicest of candy into the sourest of sour mines. Uh, do not f fall prey to these dangerous traps. Follow their paths marked on the island map. Okay, so we this is a little bit interesting because we're actually crossing over into Candy Cove for this one. Because I do need Candy Cove characters for <laughs> Cupcake Kingdom right now. Um, so getting into it, we have the gummy goodies for the gummy island. We have gummy bears, various sizes. Gems are great because they look gummy. They're see-through, transparent. However, be cautious on your sizes. So if you want to do a little gummy bear to gems, he's going to be about like 10 pieces. But don't give me like a 700 piece giant sculpture I, I don't know like i i would have to wait and see if you know, we just we want to be cautious on part count at this point we don't want 4k gummy bears <laughs> right yeah. yeah it's very very important because you know we're we're they were trying to theme out all these sections we want to make it to the end so we, we've got to be cautious mm -hmm. on our piece count and you know, basic shapes do the job too. They're they're plasticky looking, but you can see some fruits here. They look fun. I mean, you could do basic shapes. Um, so we want gummy tribal warriors. Uh, probably best to use basic shapes. Uh, somebody did us the cupcake warriors. And you guys will haven't even haven't seen it yet. I guess I could have provided an example, but but they're cupcake knights. They were really cool. So if we could get some kind of gummy tribal warriors, that would be awesome. Uh, we want fruity slash candy islanders. So think of little fruit characters like all those images above. Watermelon man, pineapple dude, coconut family. Basically, these pineapple guys. Dude. Love the name. <laughs> essentially those. Runts. Apples, bananas, pears, oranges. Runts. Um, yeah, and basically turn them into characters. Give them little faces. This is a really fun one. I think people are going to have a lot of fun with this. So many characters. We want animals. Tortles, like this one. These are a race from World of Warcraft, I think, right? Um, yeah. They're cute. So, do you know what they're called? No, I don't. I thought you did. No, I don't. Oh. The tort you do? No, I don't. I, yeah, you I, said it yesterday, I swear. I said I, I googled turtle race. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, dolphins, sharks, fish, snakes, parrots, toucans, anything and everything that you can think of that's tropical animals and gummified um, <laughs> with lots of characteristics. So if you do a shark, we don't want like the shark from Planet Coaster. We want like a big, like a, like a Finding Nemo shark, you know, something crazy out of basic shapes with lots of characteristics. Uh, Ooh, right? What's happening here? Oh, I was pushing my mute button. I was Oops. clearing my throat. What happened? Sorry. You lost stuff off your there you <laughs> Uh Tiki huts and bars for food stalls. So this is a tricky one because we have these shops that we got to cover up. Um, and tiki bars and stuff are usually open. So, you know, you guys are going to have to think creatively. And they don't all have to be huts. Like, if you could come up with something original and unique that's different, uh, go by all means do it. You could build, like, a, a tiki tiki bar or, like, a restaurant or something, um, you know, and, and you can, and they're selling fruits and things and stuff there. Kind of like this. I found this and put it in the, the market for Fairground Farms. I think that's a pretty good example. And it's an actual shop that you can kind of go in ish has canopies so it, it's dressed up nicely and then you just do thatch roof instead and you know uh teakify it Ooh, that's a good word we're getting gum gummify and teakify everything and then uh 
Conflicting island maps. Chan had this idea, like all these maps saying, go this way, go that way, but it's like never taking you anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> it's all wrong. <laughs> it all, no, no, nothing would make sense. Uh, I like the idea of treasure map signs, like the X marks the spot and the treasure here. That could be fun. Uh, candy kebabs, that's cool. Like just random kebabs, which also led me to think of the candy totems. If you, someone could make like an actual totem that looks like a totem, but it's covered in candies and gummies and fruits that would be awesome um, tropical fruit gummy ride skins um, use the smaller ride skins because this area is small if you can I think that would be best so basically we're looking for rides that have tropical rooftops that have fruit on them there's some cool spinning rides some things that you can replace with big apples or oranges and make it you know water spraying out everywhere all sorts of cool stuff there decorative gummy boats uh so we like the little boats in game as also as well as the galleon <clears throat> and for this one we, we wouldn't mind just like you, you take a boat and you you know gummify it you just put some basic yeah. shapes over it but we don't I, want I like a eight thousand piece boat no, but I would like to see like a, a little speedboat pulling a, one of those banana floats with a gummy bear riding <laughs> That's on it. That's a great <laughs> idea. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. And to, to go off of that, you can make lifesavers, little lifesavers and stuff, and we'll put characters in them. And yeah, you could be uh, towing or, you know, uh, tubing, skis, all sorts of stuff. Uh, it's a surfboard, surfers. There's could be a little surf shop. That could be one that sells. It's a just a memento that sells surfboards. Surfs up, dude, and like make a nice sign. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That'd be cool. Um, little tropical dude. decorative sets. So we would like little lawn chairs, towels, beach balls, picnics, surfboards, anything and anything that you can stick in the sand and put everywhere. So that's that's fun. And then we also want weapons of war. <laughs> I mean, you know, what is a vacation without weapons? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Tiki catapults and weaponry. <clears throat> Which leads us into our sour goodies. Uh, think sour pirate gummies. So, sour patch kids, or those sour worms, or those anything sour. They could just be the gummy bears with a slightly different texture. Or, you know, you could put like a little emitter in there and like sugar's coming out of them or something. Um, something like that. Smoke. There, I don't know. It's tricky. It's tricky to... Or you can just give them angry faces. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's a tricky one. But we want Sour Candy Minions, Lockjaw's Evil Minions, Sour Candy Lemonheads. What's a lemonhead? You never had a lemonhead? Those, those, those are those really lemonhead. sour candies. Uh, Not a fan of sour. <laughs> oh, that's the best, man. Yeah, they really pucker your face up. Evil Invader Gummy Ships. You can straight up take the Galleon and um, just like cover it in basic shapes. I think I have a picture of a galleon here. Um, <clears throat> this thing's going to be sailing into both Cupcake Island or Cupcake Kingdom and Gummy Island and it's going to be covered in gummies and sour kids. If we, someone could take the galleon and just cover it up with like cartoony looking stuff, basic shapes essentially. Um, that's that's our sour gummy ship and then we would want those little tiny boats with you know little sour kids on them and they're coming in and so we would also need pirate catapults and weaponry and they're bringing that in over the sea and bringing it on the land um and attacking the gummy bears and stuff so we need um sour patch kids and sour patch warriors <laughs> <laughs> we need them to look evil and grimacing. Um, thieves hauling candies and crates on ships, so they just they like they need booty. They stole a lot of stuff. They could just be generic crates and you know candy spilling out of them. Uh, a zeppelin would be cool. We could use candy zeppelins or just cartoony zeppelins with basic shapes. Um, yeah, uh, cannons launching sour patch kids. So they they gotta get pew. They shoot them onto the island. Attack! Repel the invaders! And here's a little inspiration from Fairground Farms Harbor. We did a little touch of Gummy Island over here because it had a tiny beach. But uh, Wookie Bush made this great little tropical shop. It's just pretend. It's scenery, but it's good because I didn't want to actually link up shops and hook it up and all that stuff. So it's a great little scenery piece. But we could use some that are actually shops. I love the little coconut drink with the umbrella coming out. It's super cool. Um, Synchros made this little tiny umbrella with people sitting in lawn chairs it's super small but that's stuff we need we need beach balls i took that from augie's that's actually cat poop or cat puke i think <laughs> remember that <laughs> it's we got amazing that. how it changes with the different context of uh, scenery <laughs> exactly uh the volleyball set so there's a little touch of things that we're going to need through scattered throughout our beaches um whatever else you can think of is great boom anything else to add guys i think that's 
a lot. Just uh, just, just <laughs> take into context your size. You know, we don't need like huge items. Well, you know, have if, fun. if they're huge, yeah, like depends. Yeah, I if, mean, I, I'm not opposed to like a, a bigger gummy bear that's like middle mid mid size basic shapes. He's like a big guy. Um, but yeah, if you use the biggest basic shapes, they're actually freaking huge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I would imagine you would be building a lot of the stuff with the smaller ones. Um, just don't go like gem ham. Don't make me like a, a giant T-Rex out of gems that's 7,000 pieces. Uh, I think that's it. But I also don't want you guys to be limited by like, oh, we're limited to part count and now my creativity sap. I think if you have something cool and you think the part count's high, just do it anyways because that's what, you know, it's, it's about having fun and if we can fit it in we will at the end of the day this thing's gonna tank no matter what <laughs> so you might yeah. as, we might as well get what we're happy with all right yeah give it our best shot yeah exactly but i'm hoping that we'll be able to finish the park uh and of course you know i, I, I kind of want people to to keep the volcano in mind and that we're dealing with a gummy island so there might be a little melting going on in certain areas i thought that um those, those the red hot candies would be cool too i could put if you guys make us like little lava minions those would be cool and i could have them like booze splooing out of the mountain rolling down the hill and all at the bottom and, and like rawr and some of them have really cool poses that could be fun these are those round balls i don't know what they're called they're round hot balls as kids they're like red dropped. hots right is that it yeah yeah i i didn't mind those ones um yeah they were more cinnamon flavored yeah cinnamon mm, yeah. spice what is that flavor there's, there's a term for it isn't there red hots cinnamon <laughs> no chant told me earlier the, the the bean thing hot tamale hot tamale oh, you're talking... that's a different candy yeah that's oh. different it's, those are two different candies that's just like but the, they tasted uh... the same didn't they well hot tamales are cinnamon too mm. yeah but they're a little different and then there was uh some kind of uh bean they used to have uh... oh look the fonts getting screwed up on this one too yeah, uh, it's your it's your green screen uh... it might be i don't know what's going on i'll have to fix it after sorry guys sorry for the black stuff in this video <laughs> Um, okay. But yeah, I, you know, I look at this section and the way that Chant made it, it looks like it's melting out into the water, you know, when you're looking at the island. So, you know, I kind of kind of keep some of that in mind. You you kind of want to play up to the native part. I think it's going to come down to the level of designers, but if you guys have ideas like blueprints that could work off that, yeah, keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. Cool. So there you guys go. That's a, that's a hefty episode full of lots of information, but you guys can get started on... Um, gummy island blueprints there will be a document where you can submit your stuff that's how we're doing it now however the channel is going to be open again so you can actually just post there to have people rate it and talk about it and you know just whatever um and then there's also the candy collab room so if you guys want to build for this if you're a discord member you know where to find the form and announcements if you're not uh, all you got to do is check it down below and uh, follow the information to become a discord member and you can get in here and get building and uh yeah have fun with it guys yeah have some tropical fun yeah mm -hmm. this one looks really exciting to me <clears throat> looking forward to see a lot of these blueprints already yeah i i'm excited about these characters and stuff i love characters i love animated stuff so go crazy with the animations the poses the personalities love it so much fun all right everyone we will see you all in the uh, next video thank you so much for watching bye hello you guys Hey. hey, hey, everybody say bye. We said bye. <laughs> no, I didn't. Bye. Bye. My, my Discord. Hello. Hello. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye. Bye. Hello. Bye. <laughs>